Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Liam forces Hope to admit she kissed Thomas. In Taylor's office, Taylor asked Ridge if he was a thousand percent sure he wanted the reunion with Brooke. Rich replied that what he wanted was to not hurt Taylor. She admitted that a part of her hurt for herself, but added that a part of her was hurting for him too. Ridge asked if Taylor knew how important he loved her, their family, and the recollections. She said they'd always want the stylish for each other, but that was why it was so hard. She claimed she knew what always happened, further heartbreak for him, because of Brooke. Taylor said she could only speak to what she would seen time and time again. Ridge would get pulled back into a relationship with Brooke, and there would be chaos. Is there anything I can say to make this easier? Anything that I can do? Ridge asked. Affirming it, Taylor told him to be happy and keep his eyes open. She said she would told him how she felt before he would gone to Rome. She participated her enterprises about Brooke and her manipulations, and I was right. So much for our pact, Taylor uttered. Latterly, Taylor was saying she felt she knew Brooke and was not surprised that Brooke had not been honest about what had been erecting between Brooke and Ridge. Taylor asked when Brooke had ever donated honesty. Come on, Taylor, Ridge replied. Taylor told Ridge not to start defending Brooke. Ridge said he was not trying to defend anyone, he was trying to help Taylor understand. Taylor responded that it was not his job to help her understand. She knew who Brooke was and how it would play out. She concluded that it was not her job to help Ridge understand that. Taylor said Brooke had children with his father and had slept with his family. Okay, I did too, Taylor conceded, but she said she had not gotten pregnant with her son's hubby and had a child with him. Figuring Brooke could not have further children, Taylor said he did not have to worry about that, but he should worry about who Brooke was at her core, which would no way change. Taylor said she would say it formally more and no way bring it up again. Taylor stated that Brooke would betray Ridge, admit it formerly caught, and make herself the victim, and Ridge would forgive her. Taylor claimed to be done but also said it was heartbreaking that he kept going in the cycle because she loved him. Okay, I am done, Taylor decided. In Eric's office, Brooke was with her Jay, who was happy that his parents were back together. He loved seeing the smile on his mama's face, and he loved the fact that for formerly, it was because of his father. Brooke murmured that it had been a happy ending, but RJ was sure that it was not a happy time for Ridge while he was telling Taylor the news. RG noted that it had to mark the end of any stopgap Taylor had of getting back with Ridge. Latterly, RG noted that his mama loved telling the story of the Aventine keyhole. Brooke chortled, and as she told her son what Ridge had said about the keyhole, the scene of Ridge gaping into it played on the screen. The scene played of Ridge eventually chancing Brooke and asking her to be his Logan ever. To RJ, that sounded like a marriage offer. Brooke asked how RJ would feel if his parents married. RJ said he and all those who loved them would be rapturous, but it would be a different story for Taylor, Steffi, and Thomas. Brooke participated that Taylor had expressed her love for Ridge and had broken their pact, trying to get him back. Brooke did not suppose Taylor would ever get over Ridge, RG said that Taylor was a strong person, but she would be agonized at the prospect of losing Ridge ever. At the precipice house, Finn was anxious to know what had happened between Thomas and Hope. Steffi flashed back on Liam, revealing that Hope had kissed Thomas. Stunned, Finn figured Thomas' preoccupation had overhauled Thomas. Steffi snappily corrected Finn, saying Hope had initiated the kiss. She wanted my family, Steffi said. Finn said Steffi had been right. Of course I was right, Steffi responded, adding that she would want it to be wrong. She'd know he allowed Hope would do commodity like that. Steffi hoped Liam could find remission and that the marriage could survive what Hope had done. Finn guessed that Hope had passions for Thomas. Steffi figured it had to be true, or Hope wouldn't have kissed Thomas that way. Finn wondered what Liam would do. Steffi flashed back to Liam kissing her in Rome, and she jounced, shaking her head. In Brooke's cabin, Hope asked if Liam had been in Italy. Yeah, dot, yeah, I was there, the concave Liam replied. She stated that he would have waited until also to tell her. Liam, in a semi-cynical tone, said he would wanted to surprise her at the exercise and show her how important he loved her. He would wanted to support her and say how sorry he would been for distrusting her. 
He glared at her. Smiling, he said he had not made it in time and he would miss the whole thing. Liam said that he would wondered how else effects would have turned out if he would made it. Confused, Hope questioned him being there but not wanting to see her. I did not say I did not see you, he responded. Hope asked when he would seen her if he would miss the event. Liam recalled the plans he would have to take Hope on the yacht. Hope said she'd have loved that and she wished they'd gone. Do you, he asked. He tried to turn the content back to her, but she said he still had not explained. Yelling, he said he was done for the moment and it was time for her to do some explaining. Hope asked what he wanted her to explain. Liam asked to hear everything. He wanted to hear about Hope's trip and what she would done. Hope started talking about the exercise and press event being a mega hit. Liam snapped that she and Thomas had been a mega hit. She replied that their hard work had paid off. Easily, Liam smelled out, and also what? He asked. She asked, after that? In a rush of words, Liam asked what Hope had done after the event, if she would stuck around, inked signatures and taken prints. Hope tried to respond, but he kept throwing out ideas of what she would done and also wondered if she would gone sightseeing. She affirmed it, alone, or were you with someone? Liam pointedly asked, his voice cracking. Liam figured that after the press conference, Hope had walked around Rome. By yourself, he asked. She said no. He asked if someone had been with her. She answered in the affirmative. When he named people who could be with her, she tried to divert to his Rome trip. Liam said he did not understand why she was not just answering his question. Liam asked again who Hope had gone sightseeing with. Hope said she did not want to talk about Rome presently because she was home and her focus was on him and their family. Liam wished he could concentrate on that, but he said it was hard when she was not answering him. Liam repeated that she would walk around and he named the sightseer sites to see. Eventually, he said he knew where she would gone and it had been to the Colosseum. He asked if she would gone there. Hope's eyes grew red and Hope admitted going there. Liam asked who she would gone with. Gashes rolled down her face. He figured that she could not say it. Indeed, though, they both knew who she would gone with. I know because I saw you two together, Liam revealed. Revelation washed over Hope. Liam stated that she would been out in the open, not indeed trying to hide it. It had been for everyone to see, for me to see. He admitted that she had not known you would been there and had allowed you had been long hauls down, watching the kitties. The family you know, that you claim matters more to you than anything, he asked. Liam assumed Hope had allowed she would been safe, and he would know he find out. Liam asked her not to make him say it. You say it. Just tell me what you did, he instructed. Hope wouldn't speak, so he asked her to do it together and repeat after him. I come on, come on, say it I kissed. Hope wouldn't speak, but furious, Liam ordered her to do it with him. Eventually, she blubbed that she would kiss Thomas. I kissed Thomas. She uttered an exfoliate gashes in Liam's boiling silence. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.